So you can see that bridge behind me, cars, peak, it's peak hour. It's around 5.30 South Australian time. And I just ridden out of the city and I'll try this little bike path. That's really, it's been upgraded. So the council's done a really good job. And because I see just, you get thousands of cars over there. And where's the cyclists? <laughs> it's too dangerous to ride in Adelaide. If you ask most Adelaide citizens, is it safe to ride a bike in Adelaide? Oh, no, you would never ride a bike in Adelaide. But look at this. All right. Now, a lot of people work in the city and commute out to, you know, Clemsig, uh, Paradise, etc. And they commute out to these northern suburbs. You know, the bikes are very, very cheap now. They're easy to work on. There's so many bike paths and stuff like that. But why aren't people using them? You know, look at that. Like, this is S-Works bike. We bought it for 500 bucks yesterday. It was advertised on 350. It's an S-Works tarmac. I thought it was a rude bait. It was actually tarmac. And, uh, you know, it's just like, what's going on in the world? What's going on in Adelaide? You know what's going on? It's everyone feeling carbohydrate. Sugar's bad calories in calories out and that prevents people having the energy to ride a bike for transport the interest infrastructure is there man and adelaide's proof look at all the amazing bike paths and roads here we have in adelaide we've got back roads we've got cycle lanes and the busy roads we've got it's just so much we've got bike paths going from the city to teach plaza and you only see a handful of people using them every day for transport you have your recreational riders on there but in terms of transport where we can make the big difference in the environment and road safety we're not seeing that because people don't have the energy because people are told carbs are bad. Meanwhile, in China, millions of people, or billions, are slim on high carb and they're riding their bikes because they have energy. Okay, Cars are not the solution to the pollution. The bicycle is. Let's talk about this time, okay? What specialized, what specialized don't tell you about their old bikes? This is the Tarmac S-Works SL1. What they don't tell you about this bike is they're freaking still amazing. I just picked this up for $500 Australian. And that's what's that? It was advertised at $350. I'm like, I knew other people were going to jump on it. So I'm like, dude, show me, send me some more pics, please. And he showed me, you know, it's got a few scratches here and there. I said, dude, if you can drop it to me now, I'll give you $350, okay? Uh, so I'll give you 500 bucks. He's like, all right, no worries. And uh, done and dusted, okay? done and dust so it just rides really 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 nice still um keep having service there <laughs> it's like don't get your bike serviced before you sell it people because often people like me we're going to strip your bike down and uh part it out it's fantastic okay 500 dollars australian it rides amazing it rides absolutely amazing i prefer this bike versus my sl8 s works why is that because it's just easy to work on what's the anxiety of riding this bike crashing it you know like whatever you know Twenty thousand dollar bike, got to do insurance. Fuck around with that. This bike, this bike's you know replacement value is twenty grand, but you know these shifters made twenty years ago, and they still shift perfectly. Okay, and if they don't, just put WD forty in there. Can you imagine the twelve speed Durace working in twenty years time? I doubt it. It's going to be landfill. These bikes are amazing. Specialized don't tell you that. Trek, Canadog, such don't tell you that. But these are the best bikes. These are bikes were made for drug users, for dopers, for steroid users, for EPO, prednisone. Cookie Man style, all right? This bike was designed for those performances. They ride amazing. The saddle, not a fan. But I'll put my saddle on there. I'll put some narrow bars on there and uh, just a stem, etc. Beautiful bike to ride. Amazing bike to ride, 100%. If you know, you know. And for the people with the keen eye, you'll notice this bike, it doesn't have the stock wheels. It's got a stock front tire. The crank's are almost brand new. So what's going on? Why does this bike have a different derailleur? This is a 7900, it comes stock with a 7800. And if we sort of look up the frame here, we can like, oh, hang on, the, where's the, where's the, all the, oh, the paint's a little bit different. Oh, and the, where's the S-Works logo here? This bike looks like it's had some repair done. I would say the derailleur hanger was bent, there's a scorpion tailed around here, put a little chip in there, and someone's like, hey, I want it, I want it all perfect again. And they've just sent the back, got done a good job, you can sort of feel it, it's been very, very, very well done and uh, good to go. Okay, this bike rides so stiff. This bike rides as or a little bit stiffer than my SL8 S-Works, okay? <laughs> but that's, again, that's what you, but people don't want to ride something like this because it's, it's old, it's boring, it's maybe it's had a little repair here. And that's why I have such a simple life and have fun with bikes because I have rules of performance versus rules of social approval.